Thousands of flights have been canceled due to Hurricane Sandy. Joining me now is Jack Nickus, who covers the U.S. Airlines, uh, joining me from Chicago. Okay, Jack, we heard uh, reports of as many as 9,500 flights being canceled over Monday and Tuesday. Is this figure correct? Yeah, we're, we're looking at a total from Sunday and now into Wednesday, actually, uh, about 15,000 flights. Uh, so this hurricane is actually stretching uh, into Wednesday, or at least the disruptions from the hurricane is stretching into Wednesday. Uh, and many thousands of travelers across the U.S. and even worldwide are basically stranded trying to get back to their homes in the Northeast. Uh, and, and they're going to have to be waiting until later in the week until they can resume their journeys. Okay, and I assume there's a lot of really upset uh, passengers worldwide uh, for that matter. We're hearing reports here in Asia of people who can't get back to New York. What are the airlines saying people should do? I mean, the airlines are basically saying sit tight. You know, we, we can't do much. Obviously, safety is the number one priority. Uh, basically, the timeline of what we're looking at right now is uh, Delta Airlines and uh, um, and United are both looking at potentially starting flights uh, late Tuesday. Southwest is also hoping to do some late Tuesday flights, but that's still up in the air. That you know we may see an entire uh, cancellation for Tuesday, just like we saw today um, on Monday, and we also may see um, in Wednesday you know a lot of cancellations as well. At least American Airlines has already said they're not going to resume any resume any services at any of these Northeast uh, major airports until uh, midday Wednesday. Okay, and obviously this is an extraordinary circumstance, but any idea should flights resume um, around Wednesday or so, how long it will really take to clear the backlog now that uh, thousands have been canceled? Yeah, it's a good question. And obviously that's gonna be a big issue here um, because obviously, you know, these are some major airports that the load factors are very high, flights are already pretty full and many people are going to be, you know, trying to make up these journeys. So uh, airlines could try to add extra flights at some of these airports, and that, that may help ease the congestion. But, you know, we're going to see sort of a backlog probably for, I don't know, another week or so. Um, and, uh, and, and that will be, you know, remain to be seen. But a lot of these flights will have to be made up, and that actually will help uh, airlines sort of, uh, you know, limit the losses here on a lot of these flights. Okay, and my next question was, any idea, are there any estimates out there as to how much all of this is costing the airlines and whether or not, uh, you know, people who are stranded in, um, and can't get back home, are they getting any help, financial help from the airlines um, for, you know, hotel bills and, and accommodation? Well, um, so airlines uh, do not have to reimburse or put people up in hotels because this is actually a weather-related event. If it was something to do with the on the airline's fault, they would have to. But the airlines do have to uh, reimburse flyers for canceled flights, and they also are waiving any change fees um, in order to change these flights. If you have flights in the next couple of days or anything like that, you can change it without having to pay a fee. Um, now. Uh, in terms of losses for the airlines, it's a very difficult question. It's going to be a while until we get sort of some firm estimates. The Global Business Travel Association said that a large hurricane typically can cost airlines and hotels and rental car companies uh, about $700 million. Uh, and now, this uh, hurricane is much larger and is uh, much longer lasting than the hypothetical hurricane they used in that study. So that's a conservative estimate. And for some context, Delta Airlines said that they lost $15 million in profits uh, at the Hurricane Irene last year, and they canceled 2,200 flights for that. So far, they've already canceled 2,500 flights, and likely that number is going to increase. Okay, yeah, obviously a huge cost to airlines and a huge inconvenience to those people who are stranded. Uh, thanks very much, Jack Nickus, joining us from Chicago. For that story Thanks. and more and continuous coverage on Hurricane Sandy, you could go to WSJ.com as well as our WorldStream video feed where we'll, we will be putting content online um, as we get it.